birds chirping. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Sacred and if you're new here, I make videos about bags, travel videos, bag reviews, and whatsoever. So I live here in the Philippines, most specifically in Cebu. So before I start, kindly hit that subscribe button and hit that notification notification bell so that every time that I upload videos you will be notified okay so right now we are here to review the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size okay, so this is my Louis Vuitton so my so there's still like this so Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton doesn't have any cards or whatsoever and it just has its date code and yeah so this is an old bag this is like a nine year old bag if I'm not mistaken or ten year old bag so here this is how it looks like okay I can't say that this is in pristine condition because I really didn't baby this bag as much as the others. Um, this is my first um, luxury bag back in 2012 or 2011. I'm not really sure because this is um, a gift from my husband. He is the one who's like enticing me to buy all of these uh, bags and I never went back. So yeah, I really really like it and I don't know why he got this print the damier azure print i kind of like the brown one which is the damier again because i don't know you have to take care of it because it's white see and it still looks very nice i mean it has like a patina around the handles the handles are still okay and pinahit stamp niya pa SV. So this is the bag. The bag is okay looking. As you can see, the edges. Parang may slight lang siya na rubbings. So this is a review and a parang wear and tear of the bags. Okay. So before we start, um. Like if you have seen a lot of videos in YouTube, they always um, recommend to get the this type of bag that from Louis Vuitton. This is the tote bag, parang tote bag sha. It's the parang classic one of its classic um, pieces. But this, but this is the azure print. So they have three prints um, now. It's like parang the. The monogram, the Ibin, and the Azure. And also the Epi Leathers. But I don't think they are still making the Epi Leathers. So, classic siya sa Louis Vuitton because it's parang a never fall. Never fall meaning hindi siya napupuno. So, yeah, it's very wide. And nakikita nyo na yung wear ng bag, which is, yeah. I should have like put like an organizer for this bag because I really don't have an organizer for this bag. Before, ang hirap talaga niyang i-maintain because of its interior na beige. And look at the interior. It's a, it's not a little bit but it's so dirty na. Even if parang I took care of this parang the inside of the bag, hindi talaga siya kasi it's really white and it's really white, it's beige and it's easily gets dirty. So this is the original interior niya. Parang puti siya and all. Kasi this part natatabunan kasi siya from this part. Okay. Very as you can see at the edges dirty na talaga siya. As in super dirty na siya. Okay, so after like 9 or 10 years, the wear of this bag is really parang ito, nagta-tarnish talaga siya. 
So as you can see here, this is different. Parang this is different colored na from this part. So nag tarnish talaga siya. So I don't know what I put in there. Maybe my lotion or something. But this part nag tarnish siya. And this part gold pa din siya. Also from the Vachetta leather. Vachetta? Vachetta leather. Nagpatina na siya. Although the patina of it is nice. Parang honey color siya. Yeah. But the edges of it though is really parang turning to black. So, hindi ko siya baby na ngayon. Pero before, I really took care of it. And every time I use this and I put it here, nagrarab kasi yung, yung clothes ko sa edges ng bag. And I always try to clean it, but ganito lang talaga siya. See? So these are the parts that is not easy to maintain. The inside of the bag, the edges of the bag because of the bachetta leather, and I don't know right now. They, parang they treat na their their bachetta leather into parang honeycomb, parang ganito na na color. Because before it's really white, talagang it's the color of this bag is really white. So yes, other than that, all the, like the. The, this and this. It's all gold pa. Okay pa naman siya. And it's still usable. It's still a very, very nice piece. It's always going to be in my collection because this is my first handbag and my husband gave it to me. But if you have the option to get um, a bag like this, go for like a low maintenance one which is the Eben. Or if you really, really like the monogram print, just anticipate that uh, the leather or the vachetta leather will be vachetta leather will be like this over time. But I, I don't think this looks really bad for a bag that is nine or ten years old. You just have to take care of it. But I don't know if if I'm gonna be like buying a tote if I'll be given a chance to buy a tote I would prefer to buy a tote that has a zipper like the Goyard one like there's a zipper here because in here in the Philippines it's like it's not safe for you to carry around bags that are like widely opened so yeah this is the bag. This is how it looks like. And yeah, it still looks good. That's why investing on bags that are really well made is really um, like like an investment. It's not really an investment that you can really return your money back, but it doesn't like wear like other bags that it you cannot use it anymore. So so yeah. I recommend this bag only in the other colors but if you really like this and the print then go on but you just have to like baby it see still looks okay and the stitching and everything still looks pretty okay the edging I've seen a lot of bags like looks worse than this. Parang that this part is already torn, and I don't know how they use that bag. Because I always value my bags, and I always value the people that gave my bag. But you know, people, only my husband gives me these bags. So you can also cinch this at the the edges. Or the sides of the bag so if you're into tote bags then you probably really like this there's a new version for this bag in LV which is the on-the-go 
tote but that one has a top handle and uh, like this but I think that one is kind of heavy I, it looks heavy for me but you know if yeah you can do this it's like the wavy no way only in the tote version so yes I love this bag I love this bag okay so hope this video helped you and in buying your new bag so if you're um, contemplating on getting a tote like this then I hope this video would help you and yes that's about it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye